Right. I'm here with Phoenix Russell, the Hanover Rhinos. You've become the first player this season to score a touchdown on offense and defense for the Rhinos, and first one in a couple of years to uh, achieve that feat. Um, what uh, what does that mean to you, to have been able to score on both sides of the ball today? Well, it's awesome because, like, I love to play on both sides of the ball, both sides of the ball, offense and defense. You can't get enough of it. I wish I could play every down. It's just hard. I can't. Uh, but playing both sides is just amazing to me. I love it. Which was more amazing, uh, the pick six or the, uh, the long touchdown reception there? Uh, I'm going to say the pick six because I told Dustin before the game I was going to get one. Yeah, I'm um, but, but you can't. You can't mess up with me and Jordan growing up together and us being able to connect on our first official touchdown in a real game. Here with uh, Roland Johnson of the Hanover Rhinos. Uh, you had two sacks at the uh, defensive tackle position today for the Hanover Rhinos. Um, what, uh, talk about your performance out there today and how that felt to get back out on the field and get another win for the Rhinos. Uh, it was pretty, pretty good. I was just um, doing my job, uh, working hard for my team. Uh, we started off a little slow, but we picked it up, got it together, planned plan my position. Take me through each sack. What led up to each one of them? Just fighting every play, man. Using my hands, fighting every play. Mm-hmm. And this was a, a team, the last time you had a blocked punt, um, which uh, turned into a safety. Um, you seem to have, uh, you seem to enjoy playing against this team. It seems to be one of your your favorite teams to play against. Um, what uh, What do you have to say about the total defensive effort out there today? I mean, we could have been better, but it was a good job. There's always room for improvement, but for the most part, we did a good job today. Right, I'm here with Jordan Gardner, a quarterback for the Hanover Rhinos. He battled through a lot of adversity from last year and were able to get out there and take some snaps. The quarterback today and had the first real success of this season. What did it feel like to throw that touchdown pass to Phoenix there in the fourth quarter? Honestly, it felt great. I've been growing up with Phoenix since I was little, and uh, – He's played. He's been my rival all through high school, and now that we actually get to play together, it felt great to be able to connect with him. Um, how, how did it feel as a whole to, to get out there at the quarterback position and complete some passes after what's been a battle and a journey here for you over the last couple of years? I've been uh, all season. I've been just begging for a chance. Chase started the end of the season. I sat back in my role as third string. Jake got the start. I sat back in my role as second string. I've been playing about a million positions this year. Finally got my chance, and I've proven now that I feel like I should be the starter. All right, I'm here with Noah Sneeringer and uh, Adam Boston for the Hanover Rhinos. Um, I'll start with you, Noah. Uh, the offense uh, jumped to life and got off to a good start in this game today. What uh, were you really happy about from this offensive unit in today's game? What did you really see that you hadn't been seeing for the previous couple of weeks? Well, we came out a little different approach with the five wide. We've been trying to establish the run the last few weeks, and it hasn't gone in our favor. So we figured to switch it up a bit, come out throwing the rock, and got two scores early. It was nice to see. Uh, Adam, you, you guys uh, got the pick six from uh, Phoenix uh, today. Obviously, the headline play. Uh, what's what's that like, coaching a guy who is able to do something like that? And how exciting is that to get uh, score points from your defense? Scoring points on the defensive side is always good because it takes pressure off the offensive side. So we continue to do that week after week, and it helps the offense out better than all. Uh, Noah, um, Phoenix was a two-way player today. He was able to go out on offense and, and get a touchdown for you. What um, What's it like for you having an athlete like that? Uh, having Phoenix is great. You know, just ridiculous athletic ability that guy has. You know, we able to play offense, defense, and special teams and make plays all the different years. He's definitely a special guy for this team. Um, Adam, your, your guys' uh, defensive front was able to get a number of sacks. Um, punish the uh, passing and rushing attacks uh, today for the Knights. Um, talk about that defensive line and, and uh, front seven performance there. What did you see today? Well, I, today is my goal today was to get more pressure with the D-line, doing different plays, you can call them, different calls. And it, it worked out. Sometimes it did, sometimes it didn't. But we adjusted and everything worked out. Uh, Nicastro, a half sack shy of uh, – Tying that sack record again. You think he'll get a chance to actually break that one of these days? I really hope so. And just for the record, I did not pull him this week. Mm-hmm. So it's not my fault that he's a half sack short. That's, that's on him, not me.